Hello UVA Wise Music Faculty. As you would expect, our Fall 2020 jury process will be different from all those before. This semester, we will hold the process through an asynchronous method. This means that our students will be able to record the video many, many times and select their best performance to share with us, so we should be seeing their best work. In addition to that video, the students will also upload PDF copies of their music that they're performing for us to review as they're performing it. We will make comments through a Google form, and we will also receive their digital student portfolio for review. I hope that this tutorial is instructional and will share with you the process. However, if there are any questions or concerns about the process, feel free to reach out to me, dws4w at uvawise.edu, and I'll be glad to assist you with the process. Thanks for your meaningful feedback for our students and doing this in an efficient and effective manner. So let's talk about the process we need to go through to evaluate our student performances for our juries for fall 2020. You'll probably need two devices for this, either that or a laptop desktop computer with multiple windows, because we'll need to have three items up. We'll need to have our music score, which is found in box, it's a PDF document. The performance video, which is found in box, and that's a video and Google Form for rating and feedback, which can be found in Safari. I have shared, I think, and I definitely will be sharing the link for that with you so you can access that. Uh, I think my process, I'm gonna try to do it on the iPad and my phone. So on my phone, I'll pull up the performance video, and on the iPad, I will pull up the Google Form for rating and the music score, so I can see those both. I tend to follow the music more than I watch the performer, so I can peek off from the side and see the performer on my phone, and then I can uh, do my work here on the iPad. I've had a few issues with it and demonstrating it in some videos in just a moment ago, so hopefully this all is gonna go well. If you experience issues, then you maybe want to revert back to your desktop computer or your laptop computer. Either that or, I hate to waste paper, but to print off the music uh, sheet music for each student. That would be a, a serious waste of paper. So let's dig in here and see what we can do. We're going to need to use split screen on the iPad to pull up two different things. And in this case, I'm going to pull up the music score, music score and the Google form. So the music score and the performance, by the way, can be found in box. Students have uploaded. So if you go to box, yours may look a little different than mine with privileges, with student performances, to juries, to performance videos, or music. I'm gonna choose music. Notice there also is a video in there, a demo. They don't uh, correlate, it's not the same music as the performance. But I'm gonna open that up, open it again, and there we go, there's all three pages of the demonstration jury piece. Okay, in order to use split screen technique, you can find videos to help you do this as well but I'm gonna to try to demonstrate that. All I've done is I've pulled up the dock at the bottom, swipe lightly, I'm using a mouse, but you swipe lightly with your finger up so that you don't close the window, but you pull open the dock. And we're gonna find the Google form. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna find, copy the link, copy that link. I'm gonna close this back out, oops. I'm gonna go back to where I was, okay, with the music. Then I'm going to slowly pull up from the bottom on my Safari, and I'm going to drag it out. Don't drop it here because it will just live over top of the music, and that's a little annoying. So if we pull it off to the side, we have split view. We have two screens at one time. Music on one side, and I'm going to type in the link here. Paste. Hopefully this is going to work. Tap return. And here, yay, it worked. Here's our Google form. So if you've not seen this, it's very similar to our departmental sheet, but with just a little bit more information. So let's say the student performer here is Donald Sora in the video, and the faculty evaluator is, oh, how about um, Winton Marsalis. Gonna get some really good critique here. One of the downsides is this is the place that we give comments. So we have to type all of our comments here. There's no place to write. We just have to type everything and it kind of goes, I think we can hit return. Sentence, return. Yeah, so you can return and you can keep going. So you can make several comments. You could also make a little bar here to say, like movement two. Well, didn't like that, did it? Movement two and then give comments. 
you know, movement three, et cetera. So we can, we can do a, a nice job, I think, with what we have there. Everything just has to be typed. Won't be the opportunity of drawing any musical notation or anything as we do sometimes. As we go down, what I've taken is our rubric and I've divided it into three different columns. It's as it's written there, but it's just separated. So the first column is command of instrument. Um, the student's ability to control his or her instrument with musical intent. So this performance, I thought, yeah, you did a pretty good job. How about a 3.5? Okay, so that's somewhere between three and four. It's kind of, uh, it's proficient and it demonstrates professional, uh, potential for professional success. Somewhere on the cracks there. So I'm gonna give him a three and a half. The next one is musical elements score. So if we take a musical elements, we're seeing proficiency with and accuracy of musical elements, including pitch, rhythm, text, articulation, and score accuracy. Basically, how well do they play what's on the page? So this guy didn't do quite so well with that. He um, didn't follow his dynamics and articulations. He ignored some of those things. I made the comments to justify that up in the comment section, and I've given him a rating there. And then finally, we're looking at presentation. The ability to be expressive with regard to phrasing, inflection, and style, as well as collaborate musically with others. So he didn't really follow his accompanist. Uh, they didn't really gel. They must not have practiced much together. So I'm going to give him a one and a half. And once that's done, we verify because we can't go back and change anything. So once you've got it, it's there. Your comments, your three ratings, tap Submit and then you're ready to go for your next performer. When you're ready for your next performer, tap done on the other screen, and you would just pull up the next piece of music, and it's ready to go for your next performer. So if the technology works well, we're all in great shape. If not, revert back to a desktop or a laptop computer. I hope this is helpful, and please let me know if you have any questions, concerns, or if something's not working. I'd recommend that you demonstrate or you uh, try this out before you're actually doing the jury um, evaluations. That way, if we have any troubleshooting we need to do, we can do that and not in sort of an emergency setting. And that's it. Not so bad, huh? Remember that if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at dws4w at uvaywise.edu uh, ahead of the game, preferably, so that we can catch any issues before we actually get started in the process. And uh, I'll be glad to help you. So best wishes. Thank you for providing feedback for our students and for uh, bearing with us as we try out some new technologies to make this process work. Have a great day.